Yesterday, Dallas ISD Superintendent Michael Hinojosa said in an interview that he doubts we can pull it off to have Texas high school football this fall. Governor Abbott told our Chris Lawrence today that everything is fluid and all options are on the table. And the UIL says things are as scheduled for this fall as of now. The as of now is really the whole answer because everything changes weekly, but plans have to be laid out and they have to be flexible because seven weeks from today is the first Friday of the high school football season as of now. Among the teams playing that night is State Power South Lake Carroll, and we spoke to their head coach Riley Dodge earlier today. Coach, I'll start here. Do you think there will be a football season this fall? I do. I do think we'll have a football season now when that starts and what it's going to look like. I think that's a that's a question right now, but I think we will um, strap the pads on this fall um, at some point. Mm. Do you think there should be a season this fall? Yeah, I don't know if I'm necessarily the right person to answer that question. I think that, um, you know, <laughs> all the information that we're getting right now, is that obviously everything's very fluid. Um, I know that our kids want to play. Our coaches want to be out there. Parents are um, eager to uh, watch their um, their kids uh, go out and compete. And, um, you know, we're just going to wait for guidance from the UIL and, uh, and see what they have to say. What do you think the, the right way to approach it is in terms of you saying the, fa the parents want to be out there, they want to see their kids playing, they want to see, you know, that, that's a big part of this experience of high school football is having sure. your, your friends and your family and all of that, being able to come out and watch these games. Is there an avenue to doing that safely, or is this something where it's going to have to be games if there are games in front of empty stadiums and everybody's watching on uh, live streams or on television? Yeah, you know, I know the UIL, um, uh, Texas High School Coaches Association, um, they've allowed to uh, live stream games this upcoming fall. So I know that's, a, uh, that's an option that, uh, that's already out there. So I know that they're planning for that. And, uh, you know, I, I, we haven't heard anything on what it's going to look like on a Friday night or a Saturday evening on uh, what the stands are going to look like or bands or cheerleaders. So, but I do think it – like we're kind of hearing from college athletics right now, I think it's going to look different. So uh, um, I know uh, the higher ups have already started playing for that. Last thing for you, coach, if it turns out that it's just not safe, it's just not smart to play this fall, would you be open to football in the spring? Yeah, I think we would be up for uh, any idea at this point um, for our, our, uh, our athletes to uh, have a normal season. And I know that, uh, you know, that idea has been kicked around. I don't know necessarily that's um, the number one plan right now. Um, but I think if it gets to a certain point that, um, you know, uh, uh, the UIL and, and administrators will have those type of conversations. But I think it's a little bit more difficult at the high school level uh, with how many kids we have playing multiple sports. And that is going to be a really hard piece of this puzzle is that they're, if they do try and contract all of this into the spring or late, uh, late winter and into the spring is all these kids that do want to play multiple sports may have to choose one or the 